is coming upon you tonight. Every spirit called prayerlessness is checking out of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. We'll be praying with Revelation chapter 12 and verse 10. We'll be telling the Lord that every user of the brethren that is accusing us with evidence in their hands that tonight let the fire of God destroy those evidence. The truth of the matter is that God is not a breaker of his word. Every time the devil appears before God, he goes with evidence. And once God sees evidence, except his mercy speaks. Hello. But for tonight, mercy will speak for somebody here. The light of God will turn things around for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God. What? Day and night. Day and night. But for tonight, as somebody here, you will receive total victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. John chapter 8, verse 9. John chapter number 8 and verse 9. Let's put our hands together to welcome our grandpa. Glory to God. I trust God that tonight your life will never remain the same. If you believe that, your amen will be the loudest. Tell your neighbor that tonight is too sure. Amen. Those that play Baba Jebu, they understand what I'm saying. When you go there and say this one is too sure, you know they fail. Tonight you will receive your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. John chapter 8 and verse 9, he said, And they... Which had they been converted of their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the eldest, even unto the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman stand in the midst. Ten, lastly, please. And when Jesus has lifted up himself, he saw none but the woman. He said unto her, Woman, where are those thy accusers? Had no one accused, condemned thee? So we are going to be praying and lifting up our voice to the Lord. Say, Father! In the, in the name of Jesus, every accuser, every accuser with evidence in their hand, Father, hands. tonight, Father, tonight let, your let your fire destroy those evidence. Let your fire destroy. Let your, fire destroy. Let your mercy let destroy. Your mercy destroy. Let your mercy Lift up your voice and declare. Mashaka parakatayada, lebekete katalabara, lebrata katalabara, lebrekete kerebere. Let your mercy destroy those evidence. Lift up your voice and declare. Every accuser in my life. Lord, let your fire destroy those evidence. Every accuser of the brethren accusing me, oh God, with evidence in their hand. Somebody declare and pray. Lord, tonight, let your fire destroy those evidence. Let your mercy destroy those evidence. Pray from the depth of your 
your heart. Your life will not remain the same. Your destiny will not remain the same. Let God hear you as you pray. Mashaka baradara. Limbreke tolebele. Ia baradara ragara. Lazo toto toko to. Ima shata ya lava. Elende kato geri. Mazele peka tala dare. Laka baragada balara. Lebra ragada balara ragada. Laka taya gada balare. Lingo do do koso le balara. Lebre kete kere degede. Ila paka taya gada ba. Let your mercy destroy those evidence. Let your power destroy those evidence. Let your mercy destroy. Somebody lift up your voice and declare, you must go free tonight. The light of God must shine in your life. Mashila Parada. Le Rosiata. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. For everyone who is praying as the Lord live tonight, you will receive total victory. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are still praying. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1. We'll be praying and destroying every activities of darkness in our life. Every activities of darkness right from the foundation of our life. Remember every man has a beginning. And that's what we are saying. He said, arise, shine, for the light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Two, please. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth. And gross darkness upon the people. And his glory shall be seen upon thee. So we'll be lifting up our voice. We'll be declaring and telling the Lord. Say, so Father. Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every activities of every darkness. Every activities of darkness. From the foundation of, from my, the life, foundation of my life. Tonight. tonight let them receive the let judgment them of life. The judgment so of Father. Life. Father. Every activities of darkness. Every activities of darkness. In and around my life. In and around my life. From the foundation of my destiny. Tonight. Tonight. Receive the judgment of life. Receive the judgment of life. Lift up your voice and declare. Mashako bakatayada. Lepe kete keba lada. Lebra da katayada ba. Lepe kete kere gede. E mashala balada lada. Laba katayego bede. Somebody spray. Every activities of darkness. In and around my life. Every activities of darkness. From the foundation of my destiny. Somebody spray. Let God hear your voice. Experience the judgment of life. Erekendo setiaba, rede de bosheliada. Erekendo koto, malapa tu esete. Erede de boshele, mabago do pokoto. Erede de pokoti, eriendo setele pa. Eya bala 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 pa. Zeke de pokoto, erede de poko. Ekondo setiaba, balo selia tekete. Ekondo setiaba, erekendo pokoto. You will not escape the judgment of light. Lift up your voice and talk to God. That from today, every activities of darkness from the foundation of my life, your life, you will not escape the judgment of God. Lord, lift up your voice and talk to God. Arise, O oh Lord. Church, every darkness from the foundation of my life. La gaba shata kaba kataya. La dush kate bala dush shata. Lengra gadu shata bala bala ba. Darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise. La da ba shata ba la da ba la da. Zati ka ba la do shate ke bragaduza. La ta ka ba ka yede liya kata. Rete be ke tu bragaduza da ba. Se poko se le te se le diya pa kata. E reken do poko iya do se liya kata. Zapa ka da ba la ta. Rete de poko to. E reken. In 
in Jesus mighty name we pray to those of you that you are crying to the Lord God will answer your prayer tonight in the name of Jesus Christ Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 20 woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put forth darkness for light and the light for darkness that put bitterness for sweet and sweet for bitterness anyone that want to disprogram the plan of God over your life after today God's judgment will come upon them right now whatever thing that is good that the enemy is trying to turn it to become evil the Lord God will rise on the behalf of them with judgment now to those of you I'm hearing your amen evil activities of darkness that is called evil that is trying to convert the good into your life into bad or evil the Lord judgment will arise now amen. no more darkness anymore amen. you're going to lift up your voice and say father, father destroy evil works of darkness fighting my life fighting my marriage fighting my household Open your mouth and pray. La pakata baladosa, leta baladosa da. I address today. Woe unto them that call for evil, good. Arise, Lord, and good evil. It is evil, and so it must not be good. Whoever come with evil intention, that want to turn the sweetness of your life into bitterness. Oh Lord, arise. Patala tapalada, shatapala katapalada balada. Sepokotopo, erekendo kotsia, erepando poko sedeke, ekatan boko tite. Lato shatapala balaba. Mesepala polo ko. Sekete brado shatapalada. Bete kete brado shatapala ba. La kete 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 kete. Limbra kato shatapala balaba balaba. Lord Jesus, Pashikata lekete, lando prate kete baladosa, zata kabala gadosa te, eleketi prato zata balabala ba. Open your mouth and pray. Lada balabala balaba, zata kabala balabala balaba. Lord, arise today by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whoever is in my life that is trying to call evil good, I command their evil good, they are evil right now to receive the judgment of God. Whoever is calling darkness light, arise, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. What do you call evil? Evil is evil. He said, these people, the first thing is that they call evil good. And call evil, God good evil. They call darkness light. And light darkness. They call sweetness bitterness. We are going to pray lastly on that note. Whoever is around my life that is trying to convert the sweetness of life into bitterness. There are many or they are everywhere. Their mission is that in that scripture, he said, that put bitterness for sweet and sweet for bitterness. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, when you miss a sweet thing with uh, maybe you miss several lips, and then it will give you a, a test, a test that you don't like. That's why people don't like Agbo. Do you like Agbo? Don't like it. Because it's not sweet. So he said, This group of people, God called them. He said, Woe unto them that comfort evil good. And good evil. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. From today, every works of evil around your life will bow. There is a light day. There is a good day. But they want to change the good to become evil. Anyone that wants to change the good of your life to become evil, God will judge them. You're going to say, Father, every evil doers, everyone that is changing good in my life into evil, you're going to say, Father, judge them now. Say, Father, anyone 
trying to turn the light of my life into darkness. Father, judge them now. Anyone trying to change the sweetness of my life into bitterness, judge them now. Lift up your voice and say, Father, judge them now. Open your mouth and pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Whoever wants to change the good in your life into evil, whoever wants to change the light into your life into darkness, whoever wants to change the sweetness in your life into bitterness, your time is over. La Kata, Jekete, La Pashata, Elekete Baradosia. Lift up your voice and talk to God. Talk to God. Lord, whoever, Father, anyone that is trying to change the light into darkness, to change the sweet into bitterness, to change the darkness, to change the light into darkness, Father, arise. Lapa Shataba Katayada Tele Kataba Lavalaba Lehaba Baba 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 Rakataba La Katayabalaba La Teke Shataba Ladu La Ku Shataba Lavalaba Address them right now the God that never fail, the God of heaven and earth, the God of fire, the God that is a light, arise, Laba Shata Kalada, enough is enough, the Lord show you in the dream, the Lord show you in the vision, the devil will not change the program of God, the devil will not succeed, light will shine, darkness will give way, bitterness will bow, sweetness will spring forth, Lord, Oh, somebody pray. La Gata, La Gata, La Gata, La Gata, La Gata, Etabalata, Zada, Lata, Eh, Shatabalaba. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God will begin to speak over your life. Amen. The Bible says everything that God made is good, but the devil came and changed the good to become evil. But after today, good will speak in your life. Amen. To those of you who are here, your louder amen, your light will spring forth. Amen. Lastly, 30 of that, the same bars. He said, and in that day, they shall roar against them like the roaring of the sea. If one look unto the land, behold, what happened? Darkness and what? And sorrow. That will not be your portion. Nigeria is a good place. But when you look upon the land, this is what you see. Darkness and sorrow. But after today for you, in the midst of darkness and sorrow, you shall have a cause to testify. And the light is darkness. In what? In heaven there above. Glory to, glory to God. After today, by the mercies of God, anywhere darkness is controlling your life, that darkness will bow. Amen. The Lord will silence their roaring. Amen. You're going to pray that last prayer. Say, Father, Silence the voice of darkness over my life. Do you got the prayer? Silence the voice of darkness. No more again should darkness speak to my life. They were, he said they are roaring and their voices will be like the voice of the sea. But you see, there is a light. That when light shines, darkness bow. And we are standing on the side of that light. From this day forward, your light will show forth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Will you lift up your voice and say, Father, every voice of darkness, every voice of the aurora, be silent now. I 
I silence their voices over my life, over my finance, over my marriage, over my relationship, over my children. Open your mouth and pray. Silent their voices. Silent the voice of failure. Silent the voice of darkness. Silent the voice of sickness. Silent the voice of darkness. Begin to speak to the voice of darkness. In all. In all. La kata batayada, lekete barako shadaba. No more again. So darkness speak to my life. I come with the voice of the voice of the word of God, the voice of Jesus, the voice of light, the voice of fire, the voice of power. Lord, ratabalado, esate, lado shataba. In this environment where I live, I silence the voice of darkness and their activities. I silence. The voice of darkness, the voice of witchcraft in my foundation, the voice of darkness, like a double. Thank you, Father. Blessed be God. In Jesus' name, we pray. After today, the voice of light will shine over your life. Wave your hands and thank Him for prayer answer. Say, This is the confidence we have that when we pray, He hears us. If you are very sure that God hears you, let me hear your voice saying thank you to Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Please be seated in God's presence. Now, we... When you have a father, you will shout with all of your heart. I'm grateful to God that my father in faith is in the house tonight. When you see somebody is not bold about introducing his father, there is something wrong about him. Once you have your father, you'll be well assured because your house will be protected. The kingdom that will belong to is the kingdom of order. There is no child without a father. There is also a spiritual parents that watch over you daily. I am happy to say to us tonight, my father is in the house. And he's going to prophesy over our life in this. I was praying about, I said, when are we going to have him? I was thinking about the convention. But God said to me, he said, it's going to come without, without stress. And yesterday I spoke with him. I said, sir, we wish to have you yesterday. He promised to come, but because of his busy schedules, he couldn't make it yesterday and he shifted it to today. When the Lord God is on your side and on the side of your father, be well assured that your victory is guaranteed. Is coming to silence the voice of darknesses that are fighting you. And I know him as the territorial commander, as the apostle that carry fire to nation and not only to community, to liberate mankind from every oppression of the devil. And I know very well that as the word of God come alive, your destiny shall be free now. Nobody here shall be under slavery anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ, with Jesus joy, join me as we receive God's servant, the apostle of God, and I'm my prophet and your prophet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, coincidentally, I was uh, meditating or praying. I can't really know what I was doing that time. This week. And uh, it, it, it's as if it came into my spirit that I was here. So, and... It just came into my spirit that I was here, so I didn't, 
and it went. So when he just, we spoke yesterday and he mentioned it, ah, so I quickly grabbed it. You know why I grabbed it? Because I've seen the signal that God wanted me to be here. And uh, I have made up my mind to be an obedient servant. Amen. Tonight, you will return with testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, have your way tonight privilege go into your word and then begin to pray. We ask that the strength of the Holy Ghost will increase. Amen. His presence will increase. Amen. The judgment of God will be fulfilled as we speak his word. Amen. Souls will be liberated. Amen. Destinies, destinies, marriages, health, finances, jobs, careers, ministries shall be set free. Works of the devil shall be destroyed. And the Lord our God shall be glorified. In Jesus mighty name. Please you may be seated. Shall we appreciate uh, Reverend Isaac and his wife very quickly for the good work they are doing here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated. Let me tell you something. One of the hardest jobs on the earth is the work of a pastor. Please pray for your pastor. Please pray for your pastor. You owe him that prayer because as all of us are, are here and so many people that couldn't come because it's during the week, all of you are in his heart. Imagine. All of you are in his heart. Most times, one day I ask myself, when did I even pray for myself last? That I am praying and now, and it's my prayer I am praying that, okay, I am praying for David Ajiboye. <laughs> I can't remember. Prayer, 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 prayer. Just for the people God has committed to your hand, you can't sleep. Sometimes you can't even eat for a very long time. So when they go out free and return back free, they don't know what is happening. If nobody respects his pastor, your neighbors, your friends, you respect your own. I'm telling you the secret. 1999, the Lord God by himself brought me in contact with my spiritual father, Bishop Edivido. If you don't like him, you can't eat on my table. 1999. I, I don't know. Is he perfect? I don't know. That's not my business. God asked him to rule my life as a spiritual father. So my heart is connected. You have your business to begin to do other things. Don't talk anything against him when you are before me. I will clearly disrespect you and you go your way. You know why? Everyone's destiny is connected to his spiritual father. In church, that's how to make it in church. You know the easiest way to make it in church? Connect your spirit to your spiritual father. Are you hearing me? If he says in Jesus' name, it's already answered in your life. If your spirit is not connected to it, even if he poured the whole oil on you, it's a spiritual thing. It won't work. The man will just be saying, ah, why is it not working? Why is it not working? But because it's a spiritual thing, it's a spiritual thing. Praise God. If you are going to win your battles, be ready to open your mouth. He said, in, is somebody, are you giving me the scripture? Okay, I'm used to that. He said in Luke chapter number 21, and uh, verses 14 and 15, let's read 14 and 15. He said, Set to it therefore, 
in your heart not to meditate for what you shall, you know, answer. Start from verse 13 so that people can understand what I'm saying. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. Can I hear amen? It shall turn to you the battle you are facing. All the challenges before you now. They will return back to you with a testimony. He said, therefore, set it in your heart. Not to meditate what ye shall answer. Don't be disturbed and say, hey, what will I do now? What will I? He said, the only thing you should do. For I have given you a mouth eh? and wisdom. Which if you open them, all your adversaries, all of them together. Come and say all of them. Witches, wizards, occultic men, herbalists, neighbor, brother, whoever. All of them shall not be able to gain say nor resist if you open your mouth. That's why, that's why Psalm 81 verse 10 says, open thy mouth wide. And I will feel it. And verse 11 says, but my people will not. That's why they have a problem. Say, but my people, go to verse 10 quickly. Who is the person giving me this? Let me see your hands up. That person giving me this, let me know you. Okay. We have to cooperate. I'm the Lord thy God which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. God is telling you, so that you know who is giving the instruction. Sometimes you may say, I don't know, is uh, maybe it's David that is writing it. No, no, no. This one, I am the Lord, your God, that brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide. Come on, say, open it wide. And uh, some of you know how to pray some, uh, you know, British prayer. You know, Lord, I don't, I don't just understand, you know, <laughs> when the thing was going like this. You know. <laughs> That's the devil doesn't go with that. You see, Lord, Lord, you But Kailara, you open that mouth. <laughs> when the thing don't reach one level for your body, you go open that mouth. He said, "Open thy mouth." Can you imagine? God went to school more than us. He, when he say, "Open your mouth," what did he, he see? Did he say, "Open your mouth"? He say, "Open it wide." Can somebody open his mouth wide? Let me know. So that tomorrow, if you are not opening your mouth, why you know you are the one doing it yourself? No enemy has capacity to overcome you. Say I said so. No devil has any right from anywhere. Let me be called from any kingdom to overcome you. No one. They only overcome you when you refuse to do what God asks you to do. And I will feel it. When you open it wide, and I confirm it's wide, then I will feel it. But my people will not act into my voice. And Israel will none of me. Come and say, I will open my own wide. In Matthew 27, in Matthew 27, yes. Give me from verse 11, I think. Jesus, look at what happened. Jesus, you know he came to die for us. Do you understand that? The purpose of Jesus being born on the earth is to die for us. That's the reason why he surrendered to death. Too. You think those people could kill him? He became mumu in their hand because that was the purpose he came to fulfill. Now, how were they able to kill him? Because he never said anything. Look at it. And Jesus stood before the governor and the governor asked him, saying, Are thou the king of the Jews? And Jesus said unto him, Thou say it. Verse 12. And, then, and when he was accused of the chief priests and elders, he answered nothing. Now verse 13. Then said the pilot unto him, Hearest thou not how many things they witness against thee? Verse 14. And he said unto him, Not a, never a word. In so much that the governor marveled greatly. Ah, you can defend yourself. You know, talk. These people go kill you. If Jesus has opened his mouth to talk, they won't kill him. No, let the devil kill you. Are you hearing me now? There's no gentility in church. Oh. 
that you are gentle does not give you a rank. You like be gentle. They said me, I'm too difficult. I'm too hey, that, hey, that way. And the more I'm too difficult, the more they, they say I'm difficult. My life is getting better. They say I'm difficult. Is it not better for you to be difficult and your life is better? Yeah. No gentility. If you are going to destroy the works of the devil, the works of the enemy over your life, you must be ready. You must open your mouth. You must dare that devil. And say 10 millions of that devil cannot touch your destiny. And that's what you want to do tonight. So it's not a time to begin to look and say, you know they pray. You, you pray your own self. Every time you have a testimony, you become the attention of the people. Nobody knows you now because you have not got a testimony. Hallelujah. And that's what the Bible wants to, the, the devil wants to do. In Ezekiel chapter number 19 and verse 9. In Ezekiel 19 verse 9. And they put him, talking about the prophet, in ward, in chains. And brought him to the king of Babylon. They brought him into holds that his voice should no more be heard upon the mountains of Israel. Why were they doing that? They don't want to hear his voice. His voice was their problem. That you are shouting is the problem of the enemy. That you are praying loud. Why is it that all the people in the community are complaining? If they are playing with Zasu there, nobody will complain. But you pray one hour prayer, they will begin to shout their mouth. You know why? Because your prayer is not allowing them to fly. Your prayer is hindering their incantations. Your prayer is not allowing them to go and feed the person they want to feed in the dream. So because of that, they are getting angry. Say, ah, who is that face? Say, this is the one that is not allowing all those fast. So they'll be looking for all kind of, you know, ways. But the more you raise your voice, they are the one that will pack out of that environment. That is if they don't die. If they don't, if they are hiding their head. <laughs> but they will pack out. Come and say, they will pack out. One, one year like that, I think year 2000 or 2001, I was living in uh, this face, me and face you. I just, I, I was still single, so I could pray. Any single person here that cannot pray, uh, you know, what, what time do you want to pray? By the time you now have responsibility, you are looking for how to, and then you are single, you have not done, you have not invested to your life. That does not mean that those who are married now, now say, hey, thank God that I am married. This is you better open that. So I will pray and pray and pray. I will pray till they break. I will, will. Then suddenly, one day, I used to pray. When I get angry, I just say, all the witches in this compound or cada accident. Hey, I didn't know that there were many witches in that house like that. If you see Salesa box, one day we are paying the baby, uh, the landlord will always sit in the front of the house. So where I was going, I said, General, General, he used to call me General. I said, I, so I gave him the Nepal B. Another woman was paying. Another mama, they were all there paying. So they now say, Is it the man? Because they didn't even know me physically. The room, the house, uh, about 27 room, rooms. They said, Is it the man that does not allow us to sleep in the night? I didn't know they were talking to me. I look at so the man, the landlord now say, Are you a wish? <laughs> or you are a thief? He said, Because it's prayer, we only drive a wish and a thief. That the following week they turned him out of that man like this. Yes, the man died because of that word. Me that is praying, I'm the one praying, I sleep well. The one who said he wants to defend me. The enemy wants to stop your voice. Don't let them. Anybody who is not comfortable with you building a sound spiritual life should go to hell. The Bible says 
In 1 John chapter 3 and verse 8, he that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. That he might what? The Lord Jesus came purposely to destroy the works of the devil. And that's why sin is no longer part of you. Are you here with me? Sin is no longer what? It's not part of you anymore. Don't entertain it. Because the works of the devil, the major works of the devil is sin. Is sin. Come on, say sin. sin. Sometimes people are committing sin. They don't see it as problem. But when they have a bad dream or somebody is pursuing them, they see that one as problem. No, that one is a secondary problem. That sin is the entrance of that enemy to your life. Yes, see, they are yes, sir. It's about a few people that say yes, sir. Yes, so if you are destroying the works of the devil, you should destroy the sin in your life. Because if you kill the witch and, you, and the sin is in your life, the wizard will come. When you kill the wizard and sin is still in your life, the demons will come. That's how it is. So, we will both destroy the works of the devil in our life that is called sin and destroy the works of the devil, the arrows and all the machination of the wicked one against our advancement. Tonight you will be free. Tonight you will be free. Tonight you will be free. Tonight you'll be free. Tonight you'll be free. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Job chapter number 5 and verse 12. He disappointed the device of the crafty so that their hand cannot perform their enterprise. Job 5 12. God doesn't want the wicked to manifest their evil over you. He doesn't want it. God is committed to destroy the works of the devil. He said God disappoint the devices of the crafty. The devil is the crafty one. So that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. In Isaiah 44 verse 25. He said he disappointed. He frustrated the tokens of the liar. He made their diviners mad. He turned their wise men backward. He made their knowledge foolish. Verse 26, he honored the word of his servant and performed the counsel of his messenger. God is committed to making the enemy failed over your life. Amen. So, you are not afraid of the enemy. Come and say, I am, not I am not afraid. I am not afraid. No, the, the, the Lord they never told you that the enemy will not plan. He didn't tell you that. The Lord never told you that when you become a Christian, everything will now become smooth. You will not have challenges. He never told you that. He said, in this world, you will have tribulations. He said, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome for you. Now, if you can stand well, you will just be having victory. Over victory. Over victory. That's why I came today. When I was watching the service that day and I had the testimony, ah, I said, You are moving to a billion. Okay, let us come and eat the million first. I am here. Franco. There's no service you do here that I don't watch. I will listen to it. Even if, I can, if I'm doing only service, I will listen to it after that service. Because me also want to be blessed. You need to value who you have. It's not easy to generate anointing. Yes, uh, it's not easy. Praise the Lord. Amen. That's what people go to Bini, Sokoto, uh, Benue, to go and meet Abalis for. And the Abalis will tell them, hey, go and bring the head of your wife. <laughs> not only, this, see, all those do, people doing ritual, they are, the least amount they pay is 500,000. With all the human body they will bring, the least amount they will pay is what? And you know, it won't become anything for them because the same abalis is the one that will go and expose them because he does not know how to do money. If anybody knows how to do money, they won't tell you. He doesn't know how to do money. 
So the way to now do it is to, they know everybody wants to do money. So he said, okay, when do we come to them? He said, no problem. He said, um, I'll collect 500,000. He said, bring it first. They'll bring the 500. So when they bring it, or 1 million, they now tell them, he said, you need to go and bring the breast of a virgin. So, and any time, once you get it, call me wherever you are. Once you get it, call me. So that I know when you are coming, I will make myself available because I must collect it from your hand. Are you listening to me now? Yes. Immediately, he called the abalis. The abalis will inform those who will catch him. Because if they catch him, the 500,000 has gone. The mission of, uh, I want to do this thing has ended. Is it not true? There is nobody who has ever killed a man or a woman in this Nigeria that they have not caught. They, why are they catching them? Because there is no abalis who can do money anymore. <laughs> when the pastors came into, when gospel came into Nigeria, it destroyed all the stronghold of the devil. All the ones that are there now, they are gimmicks. I am 53 years. I have been in this war, in this Nigeria, 53 years. So I know everything. <laughs> it's Jimmy. And then because some of those uh, boys, they are born in Lagos, they don't know, they have not even known a genuine body. Once they see somebody sweet, <laughs> he said, Baba, Baba. They born them in Agege, they don't do anywhere. <laughs> they are just looking for money. They are looking for all these things. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If Abalis know how to do money, we do for his child first. Yes. Let's say he doesn't want to do it for himself. He will do for his own PK. Oh, yes. And the PK will bring a GLS uh, 460 for him. He will stop. The day Abalis has GLS 460, he will, <laughs> he will drop all those uh, stupid dirty things he's carrying. <laughs> they don't like it now. But that's what they are using to eat. That's why they stay there. How can an abalist be? You are sitting under one, one. <laughs> the bed, no correct bed. Oh my God. It's good to be a child of God. If you see my bed, even if you have not slept for one week, sleep with your hands. <laughs> sleep will just fall into your eye. If you do like this. What happens? Eh? <laughs> You know, there are some rooms in the hotel that we advertise to you. Sleep will be sweet to you. I'm not talking about your bed. Though. Your, I know some of your homes. Some, some of them, need, they need exchange. <laughs> Shout hallelujah! We are breaking forth after today. Psalm 27, please give me from one. Psalm 27, give me from one. We, I want you to know what we are talking about so that when you begin to pray you are praying with an understanding that no devil can come your way what did he say the lord is my light and my salvation anyone on the side of god here wave your hand let me see oh you are on the side of god see what the bible says the lord is your light is your salvation you will fear nobody you will fear nobody. Hey, the Lord is the strength of my life. He's not in Domi. Hello? I know evangelists like eating yam very well. It's not yam. All those fry yam you eat in uh, your business. Amen. It's not yam. It's not ever. Oh, aku. Fufu. <laughs> Dangerous. Amen. I'm coming. Let's go. let's do the business. Whom shall I be afraid of? Verse two, please. When the wicked, even my enemies, and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they what? Verse three. Though an host will come against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this what? When you are a child of God. You are not afraid because you have a war. Don't ever be afraid. When you pray in fear, God does not answer. You pray in confidence. Is somebody hearing me now? That's why I say, don't cast away your confidence. Uh, Hebrews chapter 10 verse 35. 
which has a great recompense of reward. Cast it not away. The devil does not want you to have confidence. That's why he's making you afraid. He's making you afraid. But you don't cast away your confidence. When you meet the devil, tell him, I bind you. See, see you are not saying it the way I want you to say. say, say oh, if I'm praying against, I, I bind. You see, when you are angry with somebody before you, he, he said, I, I bind you. He does not. I, I bind you. I see we want to give him. How many of us they fight before? I know you know the fight now. You are a child of God. You they fight before. They fight. Even my children self. Wait, wait. I asked them. I said, you know they fight. I said because they never report to you. Say you they fight for school. They said you know they fight. I said no. It, a man must fight. If a man no fight, how he go win race in his life? I said fight in school. Fight your mate. When men never fight where, where they are mate, they go to fight their wife. A man where don't fight man, no go fight woman at all. You go see, see all the men where they fight women. They know they fight outside though. Gentle. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, he said, in this will I be confident. Give me Psalm 46. We are reading some things. I think somebody is taking something from verse 1. Psalm 46. God is our refuge. Our strength, a very present help in trouble. Read the next verse. Though, therefore, will not we fear. Though the earth be moved, be removed. Though the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea. Verse 3. Through, though what the waters thereof roar and be troubled. Though the mountain shake with the swelling thereof. Verse 4. There is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place. <laughs> Go to Psalm 16, verse 1. Psalm 16, verse 1. Preserve me, O Lord, for indeed do I put my trust. Verse 2. O my soul, thou hast said unto the Lord, thou art my Lord, my goodness extended not unto thee. Verse 3. But to the same that are in the head, and the, to the excellent, in whom all is all my desire, delight. Verse 4. Their sorrows shall be multiplied, that hasting after another God, their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names in my list. Verse 5. The Lord is the portion of my inheritance. Who is the portion of your inheritance? And of my cup, thou maintainest. My Lord. Verse 6. <laughs> the lions are falling. Hey! What God has done in your life is just a beginning. You are entering into a new realm. I say you are entering into a new realm. You know the reason why you have battle because there is a testimony ahead. After when you win your battle, you see, have you ever seen a boxer who receive a bet without beating the other one? And so, no, you know how to fight. Say, come and fight somebody. That's why God is saying, and say, Lord, I am qualified for one million. I say, okay, come and win the battle first. Then you see one devil, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then, if you are able to hit him down, hey, then God say, okay, go for it. Is somebody hearing me now? And then after that, you say, you are going for a billion like my brother. And then, he give you another, you, you conquer it. He say, okay, take it. Everyone takes a belt in life according to the battles you have won. I like you to stand on your feet, everybody. Say, oh Lord, my father, every battle against my life be bowed down now. Oh Lord, my father, tell somebody, are you praying? Say to somebody, are you praying? Say, oh Lord, my father, every battle against my life, every battle against my life, be bowed down now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Rabba, ba, 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 ba. Lada, ba, gada, rabba, gadas. Ika, pata, ba, shatas. Rada, da, 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 da. Rada da 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 da. Be bow down now. Be bow down now.
every battle against my daughters be bowed down now every battle against my sons be bowed down now every battle against my destiny be bowed down now Jesus, let we pray. <laughs> Don't bother about the numbers. Because we are going to begin to speak to those gathering against you in the spirit. Listen, if you don't, if there is no gathering against you, you don't have any destiny you are pursuing. The devil is looking after those who have glory. At a time I asked myself, I said, Lord, ah, ah. Why this battle like this? What did, what did happen? For over 8 point something billion in the world. Why am I facing all this kind of battle? Praise the Lord. You are going to pray. You know what happened? In Psalm 3 verse 6. He said I am not afraid of 10,000 people. I am not afraid. I will not be afraid of 10,000 of people. That have set themselves against me round about. 10,000. Eh? Come on, say, eh? eh? Some of our villages don't have 10,000 people. I don't know how many thousand that will be in my, my hometown. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how many thousand. But I know it's in thousand. 10,000. He said, he said, I will not be afraid. You know, when I pray once, they will scatter. That's what David meant. In Psalm 91 verse 7, quickly give me. Psalm 91 verse 7. Let's see what happened to 10,000. Psalm 91 verse 7. A thousand shall fall at thy side. And what happened to the right side? 10,000 10, at the right side. He said, but it shall not come near you. You will still be neat. You will be the one fighting the battle. You will still be neat. Ah, they say, why your clothes no rumble? Because there's an angel fighting for you. Yes, hey, is somebody here? Yes, Isaiah chapter 8 and verse 9. I want you to take this prayer louder than never before. Associate yourself together, all you people, and you shall be broken in pieces. And give ear, all ye of far countries. Guard yourself, and ye you shall be broken in pieces. Guard yourself. I mean, the third time, and ye shall be broken in pieces. Uh -huh. You are going to pray. And say, oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, my father. Louder than that. Oh Lord, my One more time. Oh Lord, Tell your neighbor, open your mouth wide. Oh say to somebody, open your mouth wide. Oh say, oh Lord, my Father. Oh Lord, my father. Every gathering of the enemies oh Lord, my against my life oh be broken in pieces oh by fire. Be broken in pieces by fire in the name. Open your mouth and pray right now. Every gathering of the wicked against me, every gathering of the evil people against my life, against your life, be broken in pieces by fire. 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 Rakata ta 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 ta. Akapa shaka pala barada. Zada da da da. 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 
every gathering of the enemy against my life, against my family, against my ministry, against my children, be broken in pieces. Now, I curse you in the name of Jesus. I curse you. Now, you evil gathering against my life. I curse you in the name of Jesus Christ. You evil gathering against my destiny, against my children. I curse you in the name of Jesus. Be broken in pieces by fire. Now, be broken in pieces. Be broken in pieces. Be broken in pieces. Rabba ba ba ba. Rabba ba 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 ba. Rabba ba 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 ba. Arada gada. Rada gada bra. Arabra gada. Zada baraka. Baya 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 balaba. Zakata paka para bashataba la brakata rabrada zada. In Jesus' name we pray. That fruit of the womb you are looking for. It is people and powers that are gathering against it. When God created you and I, you know, while I was growing up, there was nothing like what respect. <laughs> You get to legal, they say they do tests. Man, get what is passing. Eh? Where that one come from? They say womb closed. Uh, Falopi, where that tube blocked? And where that not tube or pipe they call up? When God created you, did he block the womb? But when you came into this world, this world is called the place of evil. That's why God said he will keep you. Jesus was praying. He said, I'm not praying for the world. I'm praying for my people. That you will keep them in this world. He knows the world is evil. Jesus said, he said the world is evil. They love darkness more than light. So don't look at the world and say, ah, this world is a, is a good place. I'm there in last. <laughs> if you relax. Don't relax, oh. I'd like you to pray that prayer one more time. Every gathering of the wicked, it does not matter where they come from. Say it, it does not matter where they come from. Whether from the church, or the house where I live, or the place where I walk, or from my father's house, my mother's house, every gathering of the wicked against my life, every gathering of the wicked against my life scatter by fire 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 in the name of open your mouth and pray right now scatter now maga baga baga raba gada gada zada raba gaba gaba ya baga da gada ga raba ga Every garden of the wicked. From my father's house, from my mother's house, from the place where I walk. Be scattered by fire. Be scattered by fire. Be scattered by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh Lord, my father, anyone born together with me, 
that is doing me receive the judgment of God. No pray if you know want something to happen. <laughs> it's very easy to say. Now I was I say I raised prayer maybe five years ago. One other. I say no pray the prayer if you don't want something on Saturday night, on Sunday morning. Now I won't get. I slept in church. Now he say he say my daddy died. I say eh, what now happen? <laughs> As you come, I wake him up. I told you don't pray it yesterday. I went to bless somebody's car, a lady. Then the mother came out like this and looked at me and, drew and ran back. She saw it. Me, I saw it too. But nothing concerns me. I blessed the car. I wanted to go. She said, ah, pastor, my mother just came now. And immediately she saw you, she saw you pray, went back. He said, my mother a witch. I said, God, didn't tell me. <laughs> After that, the woman began to fall sick. And then she was calling me to come and pray for the woman. I no pick the call. Until the woman hey. So three months she no come to her. She said, My mother was sick. Papa did not come and pray. I said, see. Angboruma the yellow eku. Somebody way with the try to say. Three months. You know, come to Where no one go, nobody can put me there. Uh, at my age. <laughs> if I don't want to do something, I no go do it. It's not, there is no, I will be, plead with you, please, I no go do. I say, ah, just, I say, please, I no go do. Now, if you now insist, I will say, you won't collect. <laughs> uh, if you won't collect, make I give you. Uh, the, Abby? Waiting I hear for back there. <laughs> you know that guy where they collect for online? <laughs> that, that naughty guy. He need to be born again. <laughs> now, we are going to pray. There are people. There are people. They may not be many, but there are people born of the same blood with you. They are the easiest person to deal with your life. Is it that the same father or the same mother? Are you hearing me now? You are not saying they should die, but just say God's judgment. He knows what to do. He can flog them. If that is what they will hear, and they will obey. Uh -huh. So anyone born with me, You know, it was the same people that were born with Joseph that sold him. They first threw him inside the. They were the one. Is anyone born with me? Resisting the glory of my life. Receive the judgment of God now. Anyone born with me? Fighting my destiny. Receive the judgment of God now. Anyone born with me that is after my life, receive the judgment of God now. In the name of Go ahead and pray right now. And then I will pray for you. Isaiah 54, verses 15 down to 17, he said, Surely they will gather, but their gathering is not of me. Whosoever shall gather against thee shall fall for your sake. You know you pray that they should scatter that time. Uh -huh. God has done this one. Verse 16. He said, Behold, I have created the smith that blew the coal in the fire. 
and have bring forth an instrument for his work and have created the waster to destroy. Even those ritualists who created them. The abalist that is doing juju inside forest, who created them? The magician in India, who created them? You know what God is saying by mentioning this? He said, I can make their work not to work on you. Because I created them. So if they want to now use what they are doing to attack my sin, me that created them, I have authority over it. That's why he now said, no weapon. Whether it is an abalist or an occultic person, a witchcraft, a witch, he said, no weapon that is formed shall prosper. No. He said, and every tongue that rises up against you in judgment, what, are you, what happened? So you are going to pray and say, Lord, my father, every tongue rising up against me in judgment, let them be condemned. Before Obasanjo became president, some people gathered together. Who do we put as the president now? He was still in prison. He said, Abiola don't die. Uh, what's the name of this? Uh, Abasha don't die. Now, we have to do something now. Nigeria is tense. We have to do something now to appease the people. They didn't see anybody oh, in all the millions of people in Nigeria. In town, they went to prison to carry somebody. They put head together. There's always a meeting where your name is mentioned for good thing. But there's always somebody opposing. He said, no, 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 no. If he cannot say, don't do it for him. He said, okay, let's leave that thing first. We'll talk about it later. He'll be looking for opportunity to hinder it. That's what they call any tongue rising up against in judgment. They want to carry somebody to U.S. <laughs> One of my pastors would have been in U.S. now. He won, uh, what they call it, visa lottery. Many years ago, should be about 20 years ago. The thing was still easy that time. One visa lottery did everything. They just gave a counsel and said, no, that uh, it should not. Uh, and uh, They just spoiled it. You see, Nigeria, one of my brothers was to travel. He got a visa. He wanted to travel the following day to UK in the 90s. And then the person who got the visa for him is a director of a company. He said, wait for me. Next tomorrow, we'll go. I will take you there. Now, the, somebody now said to him, his own brother, his own brother, they, they are of the same father, not the same mother. But the person who connected him to that Oyibo that got him the visa was also a family member, but not the same father. So, the also brother, I just told the brother, I said, ah, this, uh, this man has got a visa for me. He said, we'll be going on the Tuesday. That man said, eh. He said, okay, why don't you go with uh, so so tomorrow? That one was uh, one lady like that. He's a white man too. A white woman too. Came to Nigeria. Was to go the following day. He said, why can't you go with her? He said, okay. He went to tell that uh, the other one who connected him to the... Uh, that I said, what? I said, the man who got through the visa, who used his company, everything, we take you there. Somebody now told you and you said... He, he, he was just looking like this. The following day, he carried his bag. He followed the girl. When they got to eat through, they said they, they just asked him one question. Um, how are you? He said, fine, fine. He said, are you? He said, the lady was just going. They now called the lady. Hey, come. What's your name? He said, he said, do you know him? He said, I just met him for a day. Hey. I just met him for a day. And he said, they told the man, they said, sit down here. All right, you can go. So, they, after two days, they said, okay, call the house where you know you are going. The wife of that is brother who said you should follow the girl. The, the man has called his wife. Don't be called. It's landing. They call, 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 call. Nobody picked the call for five days. So, on the fifth day, they now carry him inside the police car and tore around the UK. So, the one that they can go, they say, see, see, see UK very well. But you, you can't, we, we, if you want to, we, we, you go and we, we in the airport. But this one, you can't go. They carry him and then they throw him to Nigeria. Tongue against him. Are you hearing me now? That same person. Recently, they were doing a family meeting. And then, you know, I had the report. They were mentioning all the evil the guy has done. He was a director in a company that time. He couldn't do anything. And even the one that want to strive and he, once he hear about it, 
You must use one sense to. I like you to pray. There are so many places your name is mentioned. Is somebody hearing me now? That, okay, you know, I, I was in Abuja with my brother. I mentioned Reverend Isaac there. I said, ah, if my son is here, he will, I, this one I will be resting. He said, hey, uh, the following uh, Abuja, we went together. Somebody has to mention you somewhere. He said, he, said, uh, he has to mention you somewhere. Okay, there are many places they would have mentioned me now. I said, yes, it's my spiritual father. Or he would mention me there, and then they would call me, and I will, my life will become better. Like it's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> so every tongue louder than that rising up against me in judgment be condemned and die be condemned and die be condemned Be condemned, be condemned, be condemned. Be condemned, be condemned, be condemned. Every tongue against me in judgment. Be condemned, be condemned, be condemned, be condemned. Katatatata, 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 katatatata. Araba kadaya, araba baba, zada kapaya. Every tongue against my children in judgment. Be condemned. Every tongue against my wife in judgment. Be condemned. Every tongue against my ministry in judgment. Be condemned. And die. Rakatatata, rakatatata. Ada, 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 ada. Ah! Zede do 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 baka kapo shetes. In Jesus' name we, we pray. I took a decision many years ago. I will never hinder anybody's progress. If you tell me you want to help somebody, even if I am not happy with that person, I will not tell you. You know what? If anybody stand my way, I will kill the person. I don't want anybody's progress to stop. I don't want anybody to stop mine. Is somebody hearing me now? You know why I'm saying that? If you are here, they say you they want to help somebody and you do your mouth, pray, you discourage the person. If you pray this prayer, except God show mercy on you. You must not. You must not. If somebody wants to help somebody, please let them help. Yes, Even the bad person, they can help him. Yes, God said, I make the sun to shine both upon the evil and the good. Yes, uh, he didn't select the good and say, only you should sun your clothes. The evil should rain should beat. Mm. <laughs> Did you see that in your compound? Yes, I'd like you to pray. Whatsoever the enemy has taken from my life. I take them back. Every time the enemy is fighting you, there's something they want to take. There's something they want to take. There are some people they have reduced the, their, the volume of their glory to a very small one. That they will have to struggle, struggle, struggle before the amount they will use to feed their family comes out. You are going to pray. When your glory speak, you see, this word Things will begin to come to you. Is somebody hearing me now? You are going to pray and say, Oh Lord, my Father. Louder than that, say, Oh Lord, my Father. Everything the enemy has taken out of my life. Whatsoever the enemy has taken out of my life. Be restored back by fire. I take them back now. I take them back now. I take my health. I take my finances. I take my glory. I take my marriage. I take my children. I take my life. I take them. I take them back. 
back now. My favor, my connection. I take them back. Take them back. Zakataka poraba shakata. Zadakata kata kato robo soko robo sheketes. Zedeketo krapa kata boshke li adasuta. Ladakata kato robo sekenderi abratos. Raba kapa kaya basha kataza. La ba 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 ba. I take back my glory now. I take back all my virtues and potentials. I take back my blessings. I take back my glory. I take back my joy. I take back my exploit. I take them back now. Whatsoever you have taken out of me, all oh, you enemies, I take them back. There's restoration in my life today. 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 I take them back. I take them back. Zadaka pala barabashanda. Name we pray. The God who honored the word of his servant and performed the counsel of his messenger today establishes your victory over all your adversaries in Jesus' name. Establish your victory over all your adversaries in Jesus' name. Establish your victory over all your adversaries in Jesus' name. I pronounce that every works of the enemy over your life, your destiny, your ministry, your career, your joy be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed now. Everything that they are bound in your life, they have tied it to a tree, they have covered it and cocked it inside a bottle, they have covered it inside a, a pot, or they have buried it under the ground. Whatsoever the enemy has done in this form and so many others that is affecting your life, be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus, be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus. So whatsoever they are taking out of your life is restored. That marriage is restored. Your health is restored. Your finances is restored. Your connection are restored. Your womb is restored. Your children are restored. Your glory is restored. You are restored. Favor is restored. Divine help is restored. Connections are restored. Blessings are restored. In the name of Jesus, they are restored. By the power of the Holy Ghost, they are restored. Right now, they are restored.
Therefore, I pray today by the power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, a new fire on this altar. Every battle against this church orchestrating from the kingdom of darkness in this territory. Every battle against this church from all community gossipers and conspirators today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we silence them now! In the name of Jesus we silence them now! Every enemy of light in this land all that sit in darkness and project against light I decree the arrow of God to paralyze you now if you are hearing me wherever you are and you don't repent this night I release stroke into your body by the power in the name of Jesus by the authority of judgment, I send death to every home where they say that this church will not go forward. Now! Nah! In the name of Jesus! I take authority over you, Satan, and your cohorts in this community and beyond that have said divine voice of great church in your agenda of attack. I bind you and I paralyze your mission. Now! Divine voice of grace church shall expand. It shall grow. She shall break forth on the right and on the left. In the name of Jesus. Lord, let it be so. In the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, I decree right now, as this oil comes on here, my judgment goes to wherever I've sent them. Fresh fire on this altar. And as in land of this altar, I decree it goes to every altar of, the minis of this ministry in all their branches. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, just laid in my heart. Okay, Lord, I send this ministry abroad. I sent Life, uh, uh, divine voice of grace church ministry abroad now as the Lord lives branches of this church is opened in the nations of the earth in Jesus name Nedosia bra. If I were you, if I want to travel, I would make myself a Lord, if you take me anywhere, I will start a branch of this church. If I were you, I would just say it, and then God, who wants to open it because he must follow his word, you will be the one that will carry the testimony. Is somebody hearing me now? A brother in our church just traveled to England, and God there said, no, he cannot go to any church. The grace that brought him there, he must, the church must continue. He opened the church there. And then, what? You start it? He said, I, okay. Everybody growing, going out in our church, I tell them, hey, where are you going? He said, I'm going to say, church is in so so. You must go there. Whether I take you three hours, you must be there. I don't want to hear. I don't want to what? Yeah. Whether I take you three hours. It doesn't. How many hours does it take a woman to deliver? Sometimes a woman can be laboring from morning to night. And if we don't stand up from there, she'll be laboring. She wants to burn. Uh -huh. So it takes you how many hours? It doesn't make any meaning. Don't let me get angry. I say, hey, please, here, yeah, please. There's no please, oh. Are you, you they do please? Uh, please for where? You said may may I learn work from you, sir. <laughs> Amen. Please for where? You see, if your pastor is saying please, you can't be blessed. One man came to preach in our church one day, and then he, after the service, he was saying, Please, please, thank you, please, thank you. That's the last time, 2008. You were there or 2009? Why do you say please? Uh, it's as if you, the, the people you are blessing, they are doing favor to you. They don't raise a church like that. How many times did you see Jesus saying please to, the, to Peter? Please, thank you, Peter. Please, thank you. <laughs> you are, that's how to raise tomato church. <laughs> but this one is a palm tree church. Yeah. Even in old age, it will bear fruit. Yeah. 
that's why we, we, it's different from tomato ministry. You know, tomato ministry is, 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 is please, please. <laughs> that's the last time, 2009, I said this one day, we are not in the same realm. Let me pray for you, Pastor. No, let me pray for you. Don't need down on that on that oil. You understand me now? This woman was removed from the rib of this man. Now, that's why, have you ever heard that there is a woman in heaven before? That when they go to heaven, they find a woman there. Because when man die and woman die, the woman returned back to the rib of the man. Did you see, when they saw Abraham in heaven, did they see Sarah there? Sarah has returned back to the rib of Abraham. If woman is in heaven, hey, they will still go to market too. <laughs> they will still cook. I let we will be hearing my children, my children. I want both. <laughs> Women? Ah, only God can define them. Twenty years I'm still learning. Twenty years. <laughs> you will learn every day. Is it not true? When you look at the face, you say, ah. They, what happened to them? They are different human beings. They will return back to the rib. Bam! Bam! <laughs> Can't you see that they look alike? Yeah. That's how you will know that it's from the rib. Yeah. Mama, mama, you are very, very happy. <laughs> Spirit of the living God, your servants are, oh Lord, standing, kneeling down before you. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name for fresh fire supernatural anointing lord you told me sometimes ago not too long that you have taken me into a realm and i began to see it manifesting a week after that somebody brought a cow he said i just somebody brought a cow cow to do what he said i don't know daddy just collect it whatever you want to do with it they brought the cow cow come on say cow Lord, I anoint your servant and your daughter into that new realm. Yeah. This work requires a new realm. Yeah. Every new phase of the assignment requires a new anointing. Yeah. Receive it now. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah. I put it in you. Yeah. I impart it on you. Yeah. I inject it into your life. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, as you rise from where you are kneeling, you are no longer returning back to the level you were before you kneel down. In the name of Jesus Christ. As you grow in this grace, the work in your hand will expand speedily. The testimony will increase miraculously. Yes, In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, the response from the people shall be exceedingly great. Yes, In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, so shall it be. Yes, Jesus precious name. Yes, Stand up. You now take your wife. Oh, yeah. Take your lead. <laughs> Somebody go ahead and give God the praise. Hallelujah. You are blessed. Let's give a shouting ovation to Jehovah God. Thank him and thank the Lord. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. Glory and honor be ascribed unto you. Jesus, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Please, in one word, let's stretch our hands towards our Father. Our grandfather and say, Father, you have used him for us. Refill the virtue that left him. Do more in his life and ministry. Open your mouth and pray for him. Mashua kata. Lika ko shata baladezia. We release grace upon your servant afresh. In the name of Jesus Christ. My father. The source where he came from. Let him be refilled with fire. With authority, with grace, with more abundant life. 
Blessed be God. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Glory to God. Please rise up on your feet and just wave your hands to God and begin to thank him for prayer answered. Hallelujah. You are blessed. Thank him for prayer answered. Hallelujah.